the iTrack Solo is a perfect solution for entry-level home musicians. If you want to record yourself playing an instrument or singing and need simple controls to quickly record your sound, the iTrack Solo is perfect for you. Plug in a microphone via XLR cable and add phantom power if your microphone requires it. Alternatively, plug in an instrument via quarter-inch jack lead. The unique LED halo gain indicators glow red when the signal is clipping and needs turning down, or green when the signal's healthy. The headphone output is located on the front panel, and if you want to hear exactly what you're playing without latency or delay, turn the direct monitor switch on. On the back panel of the iTrack Solo is a device link input to connect to iPads and a pair of line outputs via RCA or phono cables to connect to your speakers. Its brushed aluminium chassis makes it truly durable and it's bus powered, meaning it works simply by connecting it to your computer via USB cable. The iTrack Solo, part of the Focusrite USB interface range. If you want the Total Studio solution, why not buy the iTrack Studio with condenser microphone, headphones, XLR cable and the iTrack Solo interface. The Scarlett 2i2 is a perfect solution for singer-songwriters or bedroom producers. If you want to record two channels of audio simultaneously via award-winning preamps, then this is your interface. Plug in a microphone via XLR cable and add phantom power, if required. Or connect a jack lead for an instrument or line level signal, switching between the two easily. The unique LED gain knobs glow red when the signal's clipping or green when it's healthy. There's a headphone output and dedicated volume knob on the front panel for easy access. And if you want to hear what you're recording without latency or delay, you can simply switch the direct monitor switch on. On the back of the unit is a pair of line outputs to connect the interface to your speakers via quarter inch jack leads. The Scarlett 2i4 is also bus powered, meaning that you only have to plug it into your computer to begin using it. Its rugged brushed aluminium chassis makes it perfect to take on the road. The Scarlett 2i2, part of the Focusrite USB interface range. If you want the Total Studio solution, why not buy the Scarlett Studio with condenser microphone, headphones, XLR cable and the Scarlett 2i2 interface. The Focusrite Forte is a perfect portable solution for home or project studio producers and has the highest quality preamp technology that Focusrite has to offer. Its luxuriously sleek design, highest quality microphone preamplifiers and touchscreen control panel make it the perfect addition to your studio setup. Control your monitor and headphone output volumes by touching the speaker or headphone icons and moving the control knob and use the Forte control software with Mac or PC. By pressing the door icon, you can control certain aspects of your music software with a control knob, like Zoom here in Logic Pro. Connect quarter inch jack leads to the line outputs and to your speakers. To plug in mic or line inputs, connect the breakout cable, but be sure to connect the power supply to enable phantom power for certain microphones. The headphone output is at the bottom of the Forte interface. Plug in microphones via XLR cables and instrument or line level inputs via quarter inch jack lead and you're ready to record. The Focusrite Forte, part of the Focusrite USB interface range. The Scarlett 2i4 is a perfect solution for singer songwriters, bedroom producers and DJs. If you want to record two channels of audio simultaneously via award winning preamps and utilize two sets of outputs for either decks or another set of speakers, this is your interface. Plug in a microphone via XLR cable and add phantom power if your mic requires it. Or plug in a jack lead and easily alternate between line or instrument level input with a line inst switch. There's also a pad switch which turns down the input level in case your guitar's pickups kick out a lot of gain. The unique LED halo gain knobs glow red when the signal is clipping or green when the signal level is healthy. Plug into the front panel's headphone output and adjust the volume and switch between two stereo pairs of outputs, ideal for DJing. If when recording you want to hear yourself without any distracting latency or delay, turn the direct monitor switch on. You can also balance the level of the inputs against the playback audio with the input playback knob. The back panel of the 2i4 has a stereo pair of balanced outputs to connect to your speakers via quarter inch jack leads. It also has two sets of line outputs via RCA or phono connection, 
perfect for DJs. If you have any MIDI devices in your studio that don't have USB connectivity, you can make use of the 2i4's MIDI input and output ports. The Scarlett 2i4 is also bus powered, meaning that you only have to plug it into your computer to begin using it. Its rugged brushed aluminium chassis makes it perfect to take on the road. The Scarlett 2i4, part of the Focusrite USB interface range. The Scarlett 6i6 is a perfect solution for you. If you want to record more channels simultaneously, like a live band rehearsal, with microphones and line inputs, the 6i6 will deliver. The front panel has two award-winning preamps with combi inputs, so you can plug in an XLR or a jack lead into either input, applying phantom power if required. The unique LED halo gain indicators glow red when the input is clipping or green when it's a healthy signal, making it really easy and quick to sound check. Scarlett Mix Control software allows you to create multiple headphone mixes and you can change from line level to instrument level and switch on a pad if your guitar's pickups kick out a lot of gain. The 6i6 also has two available headphone outputs with independent volume controls, so there's one for you and one for your instrumentalist. On the back panel of the 6i6, you can connect any MIDI equipment that has no USB connectivity via the MIDI input and output ports. There are further four line outputs, so you can connect two sets of speakers or connect one pair and have another two mono headphone outputs for musicians or even have another four independent headphone outputs and configure these mixes in Scarlett Mix Control software. Another two stereo inputs and outputs are available via the SPUDIF connections, which could be used to send audio to an external hardware effects unit to be processed, then sent back into your recording session. And a further two line inputs are available via quarter inch jack leads to connect a digital piano, for example. The Scarlett's rugged brushed aluminium chassis makes it perfect to take on the road, and you can even use it in standalone mode, meaning you can use it to mix channels in a live scenario without having to connect it to your computer. The Scarlett 6i6, part of the Focusrite USB interface range. The Scarlett 18i8 is a perfect solution for home or studio producers and is the first interface of the range to feature ADAT connectivity, making it the most affordable interface that allows your channel count to be expanded. If you want to record multiple channels simultaneously, like a drum kit or a live band, who all need independent headphone mixes, the 18i8 is the interface for you. With four front panel combi XLR or jack input mic pre's, a further four line inputs on the back, optical input, MIDI and SPUDIF connectivity, and two independent headphone outputs, as well as much more, this is the interface for you. Plug in microphones via XLR and add phantom power if the mic requires it. Or plug in an instrument or line level signal via jack lead. The unique LED halo gain indicators glow red when the signal is clipping or green when the signal is healthy. Scarlett Mix Control allows you to create multiple independent headphone mixes and control your inputs and outputs. You can also change from line to instrument level and if your guitar's pickups kick out a lot of gain you can switch on a pad, which attenuates the input level. If you're recording in the same room as monitoring, you can have independent control of your headphone output and your instrumentalists. The mute button kills the volume to your speakers, so the recording process is extremely easy to manage. There's a pair of monitor outputs on the back panel to connect to your speakers via quarter inch jack lead. And if you have synthesizers or controllers which don't have USB connectivity, there's a MIDI input and output port. A further two SPUDIF inputs and outputs are available as a stereo pair in and out via RCA or phono cables. These could be used to send audio to an external hardware effects unit to be processed, then sent back into your recording session. You can connect another four line inputs on the back panel, for example, a digital piano and synth. The Scarlett 18 i8 has an optical input, which allows you to connect a further eight mic pre's and access them via your recording software. Here we've connected an Octopre Mark II Dynamic to the optical input so that we can now add compression to the further eight channels of audio. A perfect solution for drum miking and production. The Scarlett 18i8's rugged brushed aluminium chassis makes it perfect to take on the road and you can even use it in standalone mode, meaning you can use it to mix channels in a live scenario without having to connect it to your computer. The Scarlett 18i8, part of the Focusrite USB interface range. 
The Scarlett 8920 is a perfect solution for professional recording results in studio and live environments. Record a live band setup in your studio or on the road. The 8920 boasts 8 mic or line combi XLR or jack mic pre inputs and the opportunity to expand channel count significantly with an optical ADAT input. Plug in a microphone via XLR and an instrument or line level signal via quarter inch jack lead. Add phantom power or change to an instrument input and add a pad with the dedicated switches. The front panel LEDs will let you know when inputs are clipping or at a healthy signal. There are handy mute and dim switches in the volume monitor section so you can quickly manage your speaker output. There are two front panel headphone outputs with dedicated volume controls, one for you and one for your instrumentalist. The back panel of the 8920 has a plethora of extra inputs and outputs to manage the expectations of your studio equipment. There are six more mic or line inputs for both XLR and jack connectivity and a stereo pair of monitor outputs for your speakers. A further eight line outs are available should you want more headphone outputs, monitor mixes or to send audio from your session out to an external hardware effects processor. A further stereo pair of SPDIF inputs and outputs are available for further digital connection which could be used to send audio to an external hardware effects unit to be processed then sent back into your recording session. And for any synthesizers, controllers, or other equipment that doesn't have USB connectivity, you can utilize the 8920's MIDI input and output. A word clock output is available for synchronization between multiple devices should you need it. Here we've connected an Octa Premark 2 Dynamic to add a further eight channels with compression to the 8920. Simply by connecting an optical cable out of the Octa Pre and into the 8920, we can expand the channel count and connect further mic or line inputs. You can then add gain and compression to each channel and even add limiting with the more button. The rack mountable Scarlett 8920 Studio Interface part of the Focusrite USB interface range. For more information on the Octopre Mark II Dynamic visit www.focusrite.com